Hello everyone, welcome to today's class. Here we are into the year 2024, and I decided to uh, bring out this question uh, that depicts the year we are into, which is 2024. <laughs> Look at the question here. It's a, um, uh, a radical equation, and the question is, the cube root of x plus the cube root of y equal to the cube root of 2024. So this question is suggesting or telling us something about the year 2024. It's a very nice question to begin the year. Okay, so how do we solve for the value of x and y in this challenge? It's very easy. Okay, so I'm going to take you on a step-by-step -step guide on how to solve this. So if you're new to this, this is Online Mass TV. If you've not subscribed, this is a new year. Do it to subscribe. Okay, so let's go into this challenge. So we take a selection. All right, so we have the cube root of x plus the cube root of y equal to the cube root of 2024. Okay, again, 2024 is the year we are into. So what we do here, the first thing I'm going to do here, because here we cannot rewrite these radicals. Okay, if we bring in another alphabet to represent this, and also to represent this, we are going to come up with a similar expression like this, that we have two unknown. So the first thing we do here is to rewrite your 2024 inside this cube root. So rewriting this, we must put into consideration that we have to bring out a number that is going to give us a perfect cube because of the radical we are having in here. So how do we get such number? Let's take our 2024, 2024, we divide by 2, 1, 0, 1, 2. Again, we can go with 2, this will give us 5, then 2 years, 0, then 6. 2 can equally go again, so 2 years will give us 2, 2 into 10 will give us here yeah, 5. Yes, yeah, 5 please, then 2 into this we have 3. Okay, 2 cannot go into this again. Okay, so we stop here. One, two, three. So two times two times two will give us eight. So we now have this to be your eight times 253. That will give us 2024. Okay, so we can rewrite this to give us here the cube root of x plus the cube root of y or equal to the cube root of your eight times two, five, three. Okay, so what we do here, here we are having a cube root. Okay, sorry, let me rewrite this way, please. Okay, so this is the cube root of this. Eight can be expressed at two times two times two, as we have here now. So the cube root of eight is two. So we can factor this out to give us here the cube root of x plus the cube root of y equal to 2 into the cube root of 253. Easy. So what do we do again? How do we get our x and y from here? So the best thing is to um, substitute a certain alphabet or a certain quantity for x and y here. And doing that, we must take note of what we have here. Okay, we must take note of this figure, 2, 5, 3, and also the radical we are having. We must take note of this radical and bring in our substitution. So at this point, let's substitute. We can say here, let, um, let our x be equal to, like I said, take note of this. So 2, 5, 3, uh, p to the power of 3. Okay, why? Because of this radical we are having. That's why we are introducing this. And... Also, our y, we can make our y to be 2, 5, 3, q to the power of 3. So let's go ahead and put these two values here and here. So we can now rewrite this expression as the cube root, the cube root of 2, 5, 3, p to the power of 3, okay, plus the cube root of our y we said is two five three q 
to the power of 3. Everything equal to 2 into the cube root of 2, 5, 3. Any confusion? All right, so from here, let's go ahead and write this. Let's continue here. Now, look at this now. So we can bring this out because if we use this to open up everything here, this will come out and also Q will also come out from here. All right, so let's go ahead and rewrite this again. So from here, this now implies that our P, okay, into the cube root of 2, 5, 3, okay, plus this Q to the power of 3, we cancel out this, so this was to come out. So we have here Q into the cube root of 2, 5, 3. Okay, equal to everything we have here, 2 into the cube root, 2, 5, 3. Now, you notice something common to all of them now, right? What is that thing? You discover here we are having cube root of 2, 5, 3. Yeah, cube root of 2, 5, 3. Yeah, cube root of 2, 5, 3. So, we can divide through and strike out. So, these, these, these leave the system. We are now left with P plus Q equal to 2. How do we get this to quantity that will satisfy this or that will give us this? It's very simple. Now, let's bring out our, a simple method using the trial by error method. So, we have here P and here we have Q. So, if P is 0, what will be the value of Q that we add together to give us 2? Mind you, we are looking for the integers, okay? So, here we give us 2. So, 0 plus 2 will give us 2. Then, if this goes to 1, what will happen? Here will be 1. So, 1 plus 1 is equal to 2. And if this increases to 2, here will become so what? 0. So, 2 plus 0 will give you what? Your 2 again. So, P can take the whole of this and Q can take the whole of this. All right. So if we are having our P is equal to zero, Q will be two. Now let's go back to our expression where we said let X be equals to two, five, three P to the power of Q and also Y be equal to two, five, three Q to this. We're taking the first one. If we decide to take the first one, what will be the value? So when P is equal to zero, Let's take this one now. So this now implies substituting. Okay. When I give us here, we have x equal to 2, 5, 3, p to the power of 3. What is our p? Our p is 0. So if p is 0, this x we give us here is 2, 5, 3 times 0. Okay. Because 0 to the power of 3 will give us 0. So 0 times this will give us 0. So we have our x to be zero yeah okay now if we take for our q we said our q we say y is equals to your two five three q to the power of three so this will now give us here your two five three into two to the power of three which is equals to two five three times eight and this will give us what your two power two Four. Easy. So when x is equal to zero, we have y is equal to two zero two four. Okay. Now we go to the second one where we have one and one for your q and p. So we take the first one. So we can get this x one, and this is y. 1. So for our x2, we're going to have here x2 is equal to 2, 5, 3 times what is our p? We're saying 1. So the power of 3, which is same thing as 1. And this will give us what? 2, 5, 3. So we're going to have our x2 is equal to 2, 5, 3. Easy. Okay, so 
without much waste of time too, y2 will be the same. Okay, so let's go ahead and write our y2. Let's continue from here. And erase this. Therefore, our y2 is equal to your 2, 5, 3. Also, get that. So, what will now be our um, y x3 and y3? x3. Now, from our table, our x3 is going to give us what? 2024. Okay, so x3 is equal to 22204. Okay, then our y3. Y3 will give us what? Zero. Remember? So Y3 will give us zero. So these X are X3 and Y3. So here we're going to have our X1, comma Y1, okay? Will be equal to, where is our X1? We have zero, comma, then 2024. And our x2, y2 will be equal to, where's our x2 and y2? So we have 2, 5, 3, 2, 4, 5, 3. And our x3, y3, okay? This is equal to, again, we have 2, and twenty-four comma zero. All right. So these are the pair of solution that will satisfy this radical equation. Okay. All right. So this might be end to this minus radical equation, this special radical equation for twenty twenty-four. Okay. I brought this question to kind of exercise our brain and get set for the 2024 challenge for the 2024 mathematics race again thanks for being there if you have any question with regards to this challenge drop it in the comment section and i will reply to you swiftly again this is all our mass tv we will learn mathematics all the time thanks for being there bye for now